Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Corsillis here today. I want to talk to you about should you Google your symptoms? <laughs> I know that everyone out there Googles their symptoms based on what I hear from patients. They always come to me, I know I'm not supposed to do it, but I Googled my symptoms or I looked on WebMD or something like that. And now I have cancer or HIV, one of those. <laughs> if you have Google anything, it always leads to cancer or HIV. <laughs> Kidding, sort of. But you know, Googling your symptoms does help, I admit. However, it can definitely make things a lot worse. I've had plenty of patients where they actually feel pretty anxious coming in because they Google their symptoms. Um, so, the thing is, when you, if, when you start searching for things, you start typing in your symptoms, you're going to find whatever is on your mind. If it's leading to the worst thing, you're going to find it. So don't try to do that um, or just keep that in mind. Um, you know, if you Google Mother Teresa's the devil, you're going to find that somewhere online. So don't do it. So when people go to me and Google their symptoms, they're like, you know what, I don't really agree with your diagnosis. I think I might have this based on my research. So it's kind of like a pet peeve for a lot of healthcare providers. So all the healthcare providers in the house, they know what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, if I go to the Apple Store Genius Bar, I don't ask or tell them how to kind of do their job. So I'm kind of gently saying um, similar thing when it comes to healthcare. So Googling your symptoms definitely can help because it gives you some guidance You're like, yeah, I could just do this or that. So I actually don't tell people, don't always just Google your symptoms, um, but it's still okay to do it as well, just to give some guidance. However, definitely come to us if you have more questions especially if you think you have cancer or HIV or some life-threatening disease. Um, you know, just keep in mind, we work with patients as a team. So I like to get a lot of advice from patients as well, and I hope they'll take my advice too. Um, so we have that team approach, which I love. Um, so all I can ask is, you know, we went to school for this, so trust us, and we're always going to uh, incorporate you as a team. We try not to talk down to patients, we try to actually listen to them and hopefully we can feed off of each other um, and learn from each other. And so if you're going to go Google your symptoms, look at more reputable sites like um, maybe Mayo Clinic or the CDC website. Uh, but if in doubt, definitely give us a call or just make an appointment. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Make an appointment with a healthcare provider. So hopefully this makes sense and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.